From Ireland, who are visiting, marching in the parade. They've never been to America before. They picked New York on St. Patrick's Day. How can you beat it? Because there's no place else to be besides New York on St. Patty's Day. Absolutely. You have to be here. And I found out, so long as you keep smiling, it's not even cold. <laughs> Tell us what you've been doing to help commemorate this day. Well, it's a wonderful day. We had the Mass at the Cathedral, which was just very emotional because there was the empty chair where Cardinal O'Connor usually is, and our prayers and thoughts are with His Eminence. And then I host a breakfast every year, and we had uh, probably a couple of thousand people and uh, uh, just having a great time. We had Irish dignitaries and business leaders, and uh, at the end, uh, we had Danny Boy sung, and everybody had a tear in their eye and just were, was ready for the parade. It's a great day. Tell me what the Irish community means to the state of New York. Oh, uh, we are so blessed by people from all over the world, and certainly the Irish have helped to make this great city and state what it is. And that's one of the reasons why we're going to build a, a uh, memorial to commemorate the Irish famine uh, from 1845 to 1850 down at Battery Park City overlooking the Statue of Liberty. And I think it's appropriate. Statue of Liberty is here. The Irish are here. People from around the world are here. It's just a great day. It is indeed, and we're glad that you could be with us here on NBC4. Governor Pataki. Thank you. I'm going to. <laughs> Nancy, we'll take it back to you. All right, Felicia, thank you very much. Oh, we're very happy. He mentioned County Loud. Of course, that's where I'm from. And it turns out that the governor's folks are from the same parish, a little place called Knock Bridge, as I call home. In fact, we had the great pleasure of having his mom, Margaret Pataki, at the County Loud dinner. As we see some of the Garda Shiakana, they're the police department from Ireland, the police force from Ireland. They've come out here. They get an invitation to march with the New York Emerald Society of the Police Department and uh, they're getting a great reception on the avenue as we see uh, the Police Department Emerald Society pipe band and I saw Ed Maloney in shorts this morning he was one of the members who founded this band and what a band they are Nancy oh they are this is some of my favorite music Thomas Strainer tells me there's a big charity game that takes place every year between the fire department and the police department. They have this great rivalry going in Irish football and many of them came up through the minor board ranks with Mike Keane and they're always delighted to play in Gaelic Park to raise a lot of money for charity and the game this year will be on June 23rd and uh, they're always talking about who's the best, the fire department or the police department and they play this game. They play a hockey game, they play American football. So Mike Keane, who's the chairman of the minor board, a lot of these youngsters play Irish football here in the city, and they came up now, and they came up with this novel idea. Well, now you're taking a look at the U.S. Navy Honor Guard. They're the Silver Dolphins, the U.S. Navy Submarine School in New London, Connecticut. Oh, these guys have to be up at 5 a.m. every morning for... Uh, a military inspection that's really tough times Chris absolutely they're not dressed too warmly today either but they're braving the elements how do you stay in such a, a straight line like that when you're freezing and everything is shaking on your body huh discipline <laughs> that's what it is We see uh, the banner of County Cavan coming up uh, the avenue now. Uh, Cavan, one of the three counties in Ulster, which is not included in Northern Ireland. So that's Miles Slasher O'Reilly that's on, his, on the banner. He's on his way to the Battle of Bailiabur in 1600. Out in front of the banner, we see Pat Cattle, who's the president of Cavan. And uh, we have Jimmy Lynch. He's been there for 40 years. It's a big job to hold the banner down today. Huge job with the, the wind blowing the banner as it is. It's a tough job in any circumstances, and today it's it's all the harder. And now I'm hearing it here. And you got St. John the Baptist High School. Well, we have the members of Cavan marching behind them. I see my Uncle John and, and Kathleen in that <laughs> group, my Uncle Michael. I don't know what they're doing in Cavan. There's my cousin Timothy. They're all with the wrong county, but uh, 
there they are so this really is a family tradition this parade I mean, generation after generation marches in it year after year right Chris? absolutely i've been here every year of my life uh but never in better company nancy well you talk about family traditions i thank you chris i see the fines out there and emma the little baby making her first trip up along with owen and aiden and the mom caroline so they do start them very early patty shane there at the back uh, the commentator in gaelic park And how perfect for us to take a little break right now because we just had a wonderful...